This video is going to show you how to conduct a crossover hop test, which is frequently used in ACL rehabilitation. Additionally, we're going to go through some of the pros and cons of this test and how it's best used. So firstly, to conduct a test, we want to find the starting point with your foot behind the line with a long line in front of the participant. So this test requires three consecutive hops crossing the midline with each hop. So the first hop will be a medial hop, followed by a lateral hop, and then finishing on a medial hop. The aim is not to lose balance, land firmly with every hop and stick the landing on the last hop. After a successful test, distance is measured from the starting point to the participant's heel. With regards to performance in hop tests, ideally we want 10% or less difference between the injured limb and the healthy limb. We can calculate this using the limb symmetry index and I'll leave a link in the description on how we do that. So looking at the pros of this test, the test does measure single leg power, ability to land effectively whilst performing side to side movements. However, like all tests, they shouldn't be used in isolation. So the main reason for this is there is no one test that can measure everything when returning to sport. It has to be a number of different things that we have to cover. So take a look at our playlist on baseline performance testing. That way you can look at all the other hop tests and what kind of things they bring to the table. Additionally, for more sport rehab related content, don't forget to subscribe.